Okay, so what are you doing there, uh, Lenny, now? I am about to light the smoker. Okay. Um, this, I don't always smoke the bees, but it calms them down. So I only put natural materials in. So it's a mixture of dried pine needles and some fresh cypress leaves in there and some pine cones. And basically you puff them with a bit of smoke they, it stimulates their instinct that there is a, a forest fire going on. So they go in the hive and they start gorging on the honey and start stocking up on the honey. So they literally make themselves drunk on honey. Um, Sounds great. <laughs> so while they're doing that, you can manipulate the hive, you can do whatever you need to do in the hive. But of course that causes a bit of a panic, so you don't really want to do that an awful lot. Right. Not too nice for either of us. So yeah, these are leather gloves, yeah. so they, they can sting you, but mm -hmm. the sting kind of stays in there, mm. you don't feel anything. Um, and they're elasticated here so that the that's little nice, ladies can't get that's in. That's a nice suit, the, uh, I like the, the headgear, yeah. Okay, so the smoker's so smoking. smoking. Ready to go. Uh, we'll open up the first hive. Rattle around as less as possible. As you can see, I've got tons of ants in there as well, mm. because there was some sugar feed. Right. Yeah. And of course the ants like sugar feed too. Ooh. Wow, this hive I think might be okay. Booms. Right, let's have a look now. This is my feeder. All right. It's not a professional um, feeder. It basically beekeepers just, mm. they're quite creative with what they use for their needs. And this is from car four and it's from the the homeware section so I basically fill it with sugar water and it drips out there it drip feeds them in between the frames so. you were saying about the diseases and stuff mm. yeah um, the major disease or pest for the bee is the varroa destructor mite which is a little mite that latches on to the bee and uh, it causes a disease um, which can kill the whole colony um, and by law, uh, from the agricultural department, we have to have, the base of the hive has to have a varroa base, which is a mesh screen, so that the varroa mites can pull through and you can do counts on them and they fall through onto this base mm. and you can count them. But all sorts of things fall onto here, so there'll be bits of pollen, there'll be bits of old like crystallized sugar bits of dead bees bits of body parts some propolis some poo um i can't see any varroa mites there's a bit of pollen there that orange stuff yeah look at that that's lovely is it pollen isn't it? yeah that's the that's the propolis propolis yeah so what they do that's, any that's little there. gaps any tiny little gaps yeah they they Close put it up. propolis there. This is propolis. Oh, wow. Can you touch it, Danny? Yeah. It's uh, sticky stuff. Pull it off. Oh, can I eat that? Yeah, you can eat that. Mm. As you can see, they're quite calm now at this time of day. It's very chewy. Okay. So, I'll open up the hive. Can you see those little white wormy things there? Yeah, those are larvae, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's a larvae. Can you point Can it to the camera, Manny? There. Let's put the bees up there. Yeah, See? That's a larvae. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that Just orange round a stuff bit next more. to it? Yeah. That's pollen. Okay. Okay, and you've got different types of pollen. Um, and you've got a little bee there, just trying to emerge. Ah, oh, right. Can you see it's little a bit baby. raised? Yeah. yeah. That's a drone. The drones are bigger. Okay, can you see these these ones here with the big eyes? Mm -hmm. They've got like aviator sunglasses eyes. <laughs> They're the cool, huge yeah. muscle men. Look at this one. Look at that drone. Right? Yeah. That's yeah. a that's a male bee. The drone. They their only purpose is to uh, mate with the queen. That's their only purpose in life. Oh, get me his phone number. <laughs> Are these the guys that sting? But they sting, get chucked or? out. No, no, they don't sting. They get chucked out eventually. Now these flattened, these are egg cells here, they're capped over egg cells, they're closed and ready to, oh, yeah. to uh, metamorphosize, they're, they're going to pupate. 
and then they're going to come out as worker bees. The flat ones are worker bees, the slightly raised ones are drones. Because the size. they're bigger, yeah, mm. yeah, they need more space. I can't see any queen cells. There's um, different colours. Yeah, now if you see very closely, you can see these little white, curly, little wormy things in there. They're the eggs. Yeah, yeah, they're I can see that. They're only a few yeah. days old. Wow, look at that. They're like little, little yeah. miniature larvae. Yeah. Yeah. Look, that there's one emerging here. Can you yeah, see oh, that look, one? Yeah, yeah. It's eating the wax away. It's chewing away at the wax. Take a few hours and then that will emerge. New bee, well, yeah. yeah, constant process. The queen can lay about a thousand eggs a day. All right, can you tell me a little bit about this? Right, this feeder, it's, it's not brilliant because as you can see, you get all these ants coming in. But um, it does allow you to see what the bees are doing without actually taking the lid off. So what you do is you fill this with your sugar syrup mm -hmm. and you've got these little slits here and it feeds through there into this trough here. Oh, okay. And then the bees come up here and they come over that little mm -hmm. edge and then they have a little drink in the trough there. Very good, generate. So where do these hives come from then? These are my hives. Um, I got them made by a carpenter in Polis, who is also a beekeeper. Mm -hmm. um, I started with a couple of hives though that were from a beekeeper near Limassol. And mm -hmm. they've been at a particular time. Yeah, there you can see that's the propolis there. So the propolis over it. Mm. Yeah. You have a, a number a number system. Top, it's full. This mm. population is packed. Mm. Okay, it's almost ready. If I can if I'm gonna lift out the frames now and see that they're full, full of eggs, full of honey, I'm ready to put some supers on top. Which would fill the your other the, the other yeah, frame that you exactly, took off, yeah. Yeah, the three quarter size frames. Yeah. So this is a, a brood box? This is a brood box, yeah. Okay, they've not quite finished it. So right, there's no eggs in there. Mm, you can just show the the camera. Yeah, there's no eggs in there, there's no honey in there. Mm hmm They've not really worked on this one at all. They're golden in colour. So yeah. yeah, it's mainly that the wax, means, isn't it? Yeah, that means that, because um, I put foundation wax, which is flat, with, with the hexagon shapes, and they build it up on both sides. Um, if it's more golden colour, it means that the queen hasn't ever laid eggs in it. So the darkened wax is wax that the queen's had eggs in before. Mm. Yeah. The full frame. Right, this one's very heavy, so mm. I'm thinking it's full of honey rather than eggs. Yeah, it's honey. It's honey. Nervous they are. They're building all that honey mm. there. Yeah, sort of an agitated movement, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. They've captured the honey there. Wow. Well, there is three queen cell, three queen cups there. These are queen cups. There you go. Okay. Yeah. See those queen cups? These ones. Yeah. Yeah. One, two. Four. You said there was three. Yeah. It's four there. Mm. How many thousand bees then in, in a in a setup like this? And well, something like this hive is about ten thousand. Mm. Yeah, you're looking at what, 500 or 1,000 on that frame alone? Yeah, mm. about. So when you first started then, Lenny, um, and you see certain things like you've just mentioned, Yeah. Um, would you just go off and research that and find out what it was? Yeah, I would, or I would ask another beekeeper. Right. Um, and generally I might ask um, not just one, but a couple, because Whatever answer you get from one beekeeper, you're going to get a completely different answer from another and they're going Absolutely. to contradict each other. Yeah. So it is better to go and do your own research. There's loads of great YouTube videos yes. around. There's yeah. lots of bee forums as well where people share their expertise. Mm -hmm. And thanks to uh, Danny for uh, his questions, which is uh, very natural. And uh, we hope that um, we'll all be beekeepers in the, in, the, in the not too distant future. So here we are. Off Grid Cypress signing out. Thanks again for watching. Bye. Yeah. There's lots okay. of information and I have books as well. I have a couple of books that I refer to. Yeah, yeah. you see a certain thing and you wonder what it is so you, you've yeah. got to go back and see what it is. Okay, but, well uh, Lenny, okay, thank you very much for, um, for sharing this with us and I have to say in the presence of a, an open um, uh, hive that um, you've got all the gear and here we are two feet away from you. <laughs> 
and I, but I don't feel threatened because you're handling them really well and um, you know you obviously know how to look after your bees obviously things can go wrong but I don't feel the slightest uh, bit threatened but if you do it often enough of course it's going to happen yeah. so um, thanks again for sharing all this with us and um, we'll post this on Off Grid Cyprus so that we hope we'll drag more people into keeping bees yes give bees okay. a chance yes <laughs> okay